Hello, welcome to a uh, short episode of Big Sky Hobby Corner. Um, we've got our four star 40 blown out, seams are sealed, ready to go. And we've got a nice smooth uh, fabric finish on this. So now it's time to apply our clear coat. Um, I'm not gonna bore you to death a video of me just spraying clear on the fuselage, but I figured I would show you what you need to do to get ready to do so. Um, we've got a bare cloth fuselage. Now we need to mix up our butyrate. Now what we need to do is take our non-tottening clear butyrate, see our universal retarder and our butyrate thinner. Now what we're going to do, and this is how I do it, I'll take a uh, two-stroke mixing cup. You can get these at your uh, motorbike or dirt bike store or whatever for like five bucks or something like that. It's not very much. Um, and what I do, I use these mason jars, pint mason, quart mason jars for uh, storage after things have been mixed up. So what I'll do, I'll take this and I'll add just under 14 ounces of butyrate. That's half of what this jar holds. Dump that in there. And then what I'll do, I'll put um, about six and a half ounces of retarder, dump it in the jar, and six and a half ounces of thinner. And dump it in the jar and mix it up really well. So that's like a 50, 25, 25 mix ratio. And the reason um, you thin your butyrate out so it'll go a little further. And that also makes it easier to on your spray gun to shoot. And the retarder is added to slow down the rate that it dries. Um, at this point, you can brush your uh, clear coat on if you want. Not all your brush strokes come out doing that, so I opt to shoot it with a spray gun. And what I use is I, I got it mounted here. It's a spray gun I got at Harbor Freight for $15. Make sure you buy your throttle valve. That's, that's what I get. It's a regulator <clears throat> to add to it. It does not come with it. It's I think it was like $8 or $9. It's not much. Um, now I've got the, the spray head in here with some butyrate thinner to keep things from getting yucky and locked up. You can see the purple on it from where I was shooting the Sequoia. But you want to run about 30 pounds of pressure, set your paint to where it's good, and then with your head on here and everything, you want to set your fan to where it's vertical, and you want to run about four and a half inches off of your model. And the thing is, a couple things here when you're shooting, I always get my edges first, like I'll get the leading edge of the vertical, the leading edge of the horizontal, the trailing edge of all those first. And the trick to it is, you set your distance, and once you start a stroke, follow it all the way through. Don't stop. Because if you stop, a couple things will happen. You could develop a run, which in this butyrate situation, it typically evaporates to the point to where you really don't see it. But when you go to shoot your color, you really will see it because at that place where that run is, it's going to be thicker and it's going to leave a shiny spot, a too shiny spot. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what will happen. So, like, I'm going to take this out there. I'm going to shoot it a little later today. It's just now 40 degrees outside. Um, it's not too cold. I've been told there's no such thing as too cold. It just takes longer for it to dry, which is fine because that allows everything to lay out. Your first coat, so so. You're just doing that to seal, seal. You're doing this all to seal your fabric. I'm gonna put three coats of clear on here before we get ready for color. That's just to seal the fabric. Um, spray a coat like I'm gonna get the top of the airplane. Let it set for 24 hours. Flip it over. Do the bottom of the airplane. Let it set for 24 hours. Repeat that process three separate times, and then you'll be ready for color. But what I want to do after I get all this sprayed. And it's going to take about three days. I'm going to get the wing ready to cover in uh, fabric while this process is going on. There's always something to do. So with that quick little tip, uh, we're going to get moving on. And next time we see you, we'll be putting some fabric on the wing. 